Today, we got something a little bit different, you guys. We got another war movie, man. I did 1917 eh, about a month ago, I'd say. It's been a minute. Then 1917, then the homie Timothy hit me up on Patreon. He told me he wanted me to react to another war movie, and this one was the one he wanted me to react to in particular. Patton, I believe this is a World War II based movie, and I believe it's about a specific person. But I'm not 100% sure. I haven't seen it before. I did read a little bit of the description when I went to get the movie. And I'm interested to see what it's about, man. He said it's one of his favorite movies. He said it's a little bit different, not as much action and stuff. This was filmed in 1970, or I'm sure it was filmed prior to that. But it was released in 1970, so it is a lot older of a movie. However, I'm still super hyped to see it. You know, 1917 was super dope. I, I haven't watched... I've watched a few war movies in my time. Uh, one that sticks out is Lone Survivor. I watched that when it came out in theaters when I was young. Fantastic fucking movie. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend it. But, you know, I kind of fuck with war movies. I just haven't really explored this genre too much. I'm, I'm really kind of an open person when it comes to movies as, as far as genre type. I love, like, all types. You know, horror, action, sci-fi, war, whatever it is, man. I'm willing to give it a chance. Even love movies, romantic stuff, so... I'm super excited to check this one out like man like i said the homie timothy requested it over on patreon guys so shout out to him but i have no expectations going into this man i'm really excited to see what it's going to be about i'm really excited to see how it's going to look because this is 1970 so this is an old old movie i think the oldest movie i've watched was the first star wars which i recently just watched and was filmed in 1970 or released in 1977 obviously i'm sure filmed prior to that so I'm excited to see how this is going to look, how it's going to sound. I'm sure it's a little bit remastered, this version I have. I don't think it's the original. But regardless, guys, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this movie. Before we do, I do. I said, if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys want to see next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff we're doing. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this movie. Movie snacks, baby. Don't worry. These will be gone quick. You won't hear the crunching forever, okay? I apologize. Your boy has to eat something. Because I'm fucking hungry. All those medals, man. Is this supposed to be, uh... I think his name was George. GSP George Patton? Middle name? Guessing Saint? I don't know why my mind just went to Saint. No bastard ever won a war by dying for his country. He won it by making the other poor dumb bastard die for his country. We're going to cut out their living guts and use them to grease the treads of our tanks. We're going to murder those lousy Hun bastards by the bushel. Fucking brutal. I don't want to get any messages saying that we are holding our position. We are advancing constantly and we're not interested in holding on to anything except the enemy. We're going to hold on to him by the nose and we're going to kick him in the ass. We're going to kick the hell out of him all the time and we're going to go through him like crap through a goose. That analogy, man. I will be proud to lead you wonderful guys into battle anytime. Anywhere. Bro, did I just see some sweat drip off his face? Holy hell. Good ass speech, man. It, I mean, it's straight raw and honest. You know what I mean? No sugar cone, it just 100% honesty. Sometimes that's the best way to go with shit, especially, you know, obviously when you're kind of going, not going to your, kind of going 50 50 going to your death. You know what I mean? Like, it's good to be honest, man. Also, guys, normally I take notes during movies, but. I'm going to be honest, I left my pin somewhere and I can't find it, so. Fuck. Taking the clothes off the dead bodies. It's great. Well, it's like. It's crazy seeing this different, you know, this kind of. I don't know, different side, I guess, so to speak. Because I don't think any war movie I've watched has shown that, you know, something like that anyway. Kind of excited to see what else it's going to be like, man. Damn, they really took everything from those guys. They all just got the fucking, their pants on. That's it. Tommy gun, man. The Thompson. 
What was that white shit the camel was eating? Oh boy, in the front is killing it with that twirl. He he was so nonchalant about it. Just. I love it, Excellency. It's a combination of the Bible and Hollywood. Bro, I want to travel the world so bad. Like, I've traveled some places closer to the U.S., a couple places outside the U.S., but I want to do a lot more traveling, man. See what the rest of the world's like. Up against Rommel, what we need is the best tank man we've got. Somebody tough enough to pull this outfit together. Patton? Possibly. God help us. Patton, man. She's pushing him about the chickens, man. Jeez. We got a new commanding general due today. <laughs> yeah, he's here. What were you doing down there, soldier? Trying to get some sleep, sir. No. Get back down there, son. You're the only son of a bitch in this headquarters knows what he's trying to do. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey. Beetle? Listen, I'm calling about uh, Bradley and his job here. Look, I need a good number two, man. I want to make Brad my deputy commander, okay? You clear with Ike? Oh, th thanks, Beetle. Now you're not spying for Eisenhower anymore. You're working for me. Okay? Fine, okay. The image of a bullet coming right from my nose was more horrible than any other possibility. That shit can haunt you, man. I don't blame them. They lose their fear of the Germans. I only hope to God they never lose their fear of me. Better to fear him than the Germans, right? Where are your leggings? Leggings? Well, well hell, General, sir, I'm a cook. You're a soldier. $20 fine. Damn, $20 was a lot back then. He's cracking down. In this moment, any man without leggings, without a helmet, without a tie, any man with unshined shoes or soiled uniform is going to be skinned. whoop -ah! Cracking the fucking whip, man. Homeboy is there. I don't wear a helmet when I'm in the hospital, General. Start. I can't use my stethoscope when I'm wearing my helmet. Well, then cut two holes in your helmet so that you can. Damn, dude. No excuses. This dude ain't taking nothing, man. Shit. I mean, he just wants them ready for battle. Sir, the battlefield is straight ahead. Please don't argue with me, Sergeant. I can smell a battlefield. He was out here just yesterday, George. It's over there. Turn right, damn it. Carthaginians defending the city were attacked by three Roman legions. Carthaginians were proud and brave, but they couldn't hold 2,000 years ago. I was here. Homeboy thinks he's reincarnated? Is what I'm getting? What do you think about it, man? War's kind of like chess, right? Who can make the best moves? Who can outthink the other person, the other side? You know? I don't know. I guess in some cases, maybe not in all cases. They're entitled to have their hero. After all, Montgomery did push Rommel clear across North Africa. What about the Americans? Don't they need a hero too? Do you have anybody in mind, George? And I promise you one thing, General. You will see no more German planes. As they fly over and fuck you guys up. <laughs> Discussing uh, air supremacy, Sir Arthur. God, dude, just fucking blasting them. Jesus, dude. Homeboy said, Y'all will not see no more German plane. Bah! Jesus, man. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Bro, imagine just chilling and then bam, getting fucked, man. My god, my god, that's enough. Homeboy about to go out there and take him out with a pistol? Dude is a fucking badass. Look at this. 
Dude's literally standing there while he's getting blasted. Shots going between his fucking leg, man. God. How the devil did he manage to stage that? I don't know. But if I could find the Nazi some bitches that are flying those things, I'd give them each a medal. Hey, being honest, man, shit. He said they got good shots, they got good pilots. It's got to be eerie, man, standing there. Rommel and his tank and me and mine. We'd stop about 20 paces, we'd get out, we'd shake hands. And we'd button up and we'd do battle, just the two of us. And that battle would decide the outcome of the war. Well, it's too bad jousting's gone out of style. Our graves aren't going to disappear like everybody else's who fought here. The Greeks, the Romans, the Carthaginians. God, how I hate the 20th century. I like him, man. I like him. Patton? I wonder what his middle name stands for, though. If they don't say in the movie, I gotta look it up. For some reason, something keeps telling me it's Saint. I don't know, but I, I, I doubt it. It's probably because uh, GSP, UFC, George St. Pierre, you know, but I, I don't think it is Saint. But General? Uh, sir, we intercepted a German radio message. Rommel's 10th Panzer is going to hit us near El Guitar. Camels can sense it. They say animals can sense stuff before us, right? A little baby one getting left behind. Damn, that boy is moving. Holy shit, can sheep run that fast? Really? That boy was moving like fucking Flash, dog. All my life. I wanted to lead a lot of men in a desperate battle. Here you are. I don't know, dude. There's something about him. He's got, he's got that... I don't know. That personality, I guess, so to speak. Terrifying, but confident. Fear him, but respect him, I guess. Shh, bro, it's fucking going. Imagine being in the far back and seeing that shit, man. That'd be fucking terrifying, dude. Bro, I literally got chills, man. Even if you're not getting hit by that artillery, that fucking... Oh, that sound is fucking you up. How loud that shit is, I'm sure. Oh my god, dude got trampled by his own fucking tank. Oh my... That sucks. A waste of fine infantry. That dude's dead. Damn. Look at this fucking battlefield, man. Shit. Tomo. You magnificent bastard. I read your book. You see what I mean? It's like fucking chess, man. Who who can outthink who? Who can play better, man? It's it's literally like chess. It's like two people going up against each other with a bunch of soldiers, man. It's literally what it is. Uh, he was smiling and shit. He loves it. He loves this stuff, dude. I don't know. Some people are built for it. Some people aren't, man. Personally, me, couldn't do it. I can't see the reason such fine young men get killed. There are so many battles yet to fight. So many fine young men get killed because fucking war, man. Shit. People, the higher ups. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's definitely different, man. This movie, so far, it's definitely different than most war movies I've seen. Land here. I'll hit the beaches here, take Palermo. Bonnie will drive north along the coast road. I'll come due east, take Messina, and cut off the German escape route. You'd have made a great marshal for Napoleon if you lived in the 18th century. But I did, Sir Harold. I did. It's funny he made that reference. That exact reference, same as earlier in the movie. He really does believe he's reincarnated, doesn't he? I don't know, man. I don't know if I believe in reincarnation. I don't know. It's hard to believe. I believe in, like, an afterlife, like, spiritually, ghostly more than reincarnation, I think. I will land at Syracuse, at land, for the Americans. The Americans will land here, at Gala. I will advance north to Messina with the Americans protecting my flank. After all, Messina is the key. It's the reason for invading Sicily. I wonder whose plan they're actually going to take, man. I feel like George would be kind of pissed if they didn't take his. In other words, we get the burden again while good old Monty gets the glory, huh? 
Ike had to consider all points of view. He made his decision not as an American, but as an ally. When I get an order, I say yes, sir, and I do my damnedest to carry it out. Hey. He don't like it, but of course he's gonna, you know, he's gonna go with it. Messina, Bell. Messina! That's the heart of it. If they followed my plan, I'd be there by now. I'd cut off the retreat of every goddamn German and hang on this island. All right, now you know what I'm gonna do? First, I'm gonna go to Palermo, and I'm still gonna beat that limey son of a bitch Messina. That's the last thing I ever do. He's still going for it. I think it was garbled in transmission. Ask them to retransmit the message and take your time about it. That'll take half a day at least. Yes, sir. God, man, I hope this doesn't go bad for him. I don't know, man. I got mixed feelings about it. Like, it's got to be a team effort, right? Just like he, his speech at the start, it's team. You know, it's not one man. It's not about the glory, you know? Especially when you're playing with people's lives. It's not like this is just chess pieces or... You know, little things that can come back. These are people's lives, lives, you know? So, I don't know. I hope it works out. Shit. Send him a message, Todd. Ask him if he wants me to give it back. <laughs> this dude, man. Patton's a fucking savage, dude. He really is, man. Here I am in these bloody marshes, fighting malaria as well as the Germans, while he's taking Palermo without opposition and getting all the glory. Dude, it really is about the fucking glory, man. I hate it. Like, just fucking win the war, man. Save some lives. Work together. Give him an extra day. Just one more day. The landing is on. We're going to Messina. We're going to get there before Montgomery does. What happens to them? The ordinary combat soldier. He doesn't share in your dreams of glory. He's stuck here. He's stuck living out every day, day to day, with death tugging at his elbow. I do this job because I've been trained to do it. You do it because you love it. Hey, he really does, man. You can kind of tell in how he acts compared to some of the other people, you know what I mean? But hey, I guess that's what makes him one of the greats, right? Or one of the best. I've already done that! Right down there, this sewer is no more than three feet deep! If you get that outfit cranked up, you're going to be out of a job! That helmet on. Yes, sir. Damn, bro. Dude, that's so fucking crazy, man. Just the fucking explosion is just right there, just war around you, dude. You let a whole column get stalled and strafed on account of a couple of jackasses? What the hell's the matter with you? No. No. Okay. Shit, dude just bop, bop. Just toss them over the fucking edge. You got four hours to break through that beachhead down there. If you don't make it by then, I'll fire you. Yeah, no, he ain't making no friends, that's for sure. I mean, I get trying to press forward and win the war, but like, this is a certain point where you're not even working with, you know, your allies. You're just, like I said, working for the glory. I think it's getting to him a little bit in his conscience, man. Now that he's like seen what happened and everything, all the injuries, and then I, th I think at first the injuries were like, eh, but seeing the deaths, I think is what's really getting to him. You know what I mean? Mm. I, I guess I just can't take it, sir. Oh shit! Don't tell him that. Shut up! Don't admit this, yellow bastard. Nothing wrong with him. We won't have sons of bitches. We're afraid to fight, stinking up this place of honor. We're going back to the front, my friend. You may get shot, and you may get killed, but you're going up to the fighting. Fuck, man. This is fucking hardcore. I think everybody else in there is even kind of scared of him. <laughs> even, even the ones that are actually wounded. <laughs> Somebody's got like their arm blown. Yeah, I got, I got my arm blown off, sir. Please don't yell at me. <laughs> I mean, shit. Oh, this, ugh. I don't know. General Bradley, it's time to consider just how many casualties we'd have if we were still down there crawling along that goddamn road. I mean, I guess there's that point of view, too, of like, 
you know, you never really know which way would have been better, which way you would have lost more lives, you know what I mean? I don't know, dude. It's just... It's 50-50, because you don't know. You could have lost more going that way, but at least you would have been following orders and, you know, working as a team. Oh, they did get there first. Damn. I mean, I guess he did get there first, but like I said, you gotta consider which way would have had more casualties. You will apologize to the soldier you slapped, to all doctors and nurses who were present in the tent at the time, to every patient in the tent who can be reached, and last but not least, to the Seventh Army as a whole. They're making him apologize and everything in front of everybody and to everybody, dude. You know how prideful this dude is. I hope you can understand my motive. And we'll accept this explanation. Apology. And this apology. Didn't think he was going to say it. Probably took a lot for him to do that, man. I'm sick of sitting around this royal doghouse taken Sicily I'm ready for a new assignment dude just wants to keep going I've been relieved they relieved me from command of the seventh army Shh. dude just got relieved what since they're sure to give you another command isn't it logical that they'd relieve you here first I mean I guess he could be getting put put, put in charge somewhere else too right that could be why I mean, in reality, he kind of defied orders and then, you know, do what he was supposed to do, technically, right? But, mm, I mean, he still won. But, I mean, I guess it goes back to that argument of, you know, which way they would have lost more, more soldiers, right? Because we don't know if uh, they would have lost more going with the original plan or going with his plan. You just, you don't know, you know what I mean? So, it's kind of goes back to that, but... I don't know if they, he actually got the boot or not. I think he I think he did, to be honest, man. It's kind of crazy to think about if he did. I don't know, man. But one thing I do want to comment, it just said intermission, man. I don't know if they actually did this back in the day when this movie got released. But if they did, that's pretty fucking crazy. I mean, it is a long movie. Three hours, pretty fucking long, dude. So we'll see. But intermission, I've never seen intermission in a movie before, <laughs> honestly. But so far, I'm liking it, guys. Like... I don't know. It's just different. It's not like the war movies I've seen or the ones that are coming out today. Like, I, obviously, you guys know I've seen 1917. I said at the start, I've seen Lone Survivor. I think those are really the only two, like, war movies I've actually seen. Like, realistic war movies that I've actually seen. I think that it really is it. So it's, it's, it's a lot different than those two movies that I've seen. I know there's a bunch of other popular ones out there. I know there's some that have come out more recently too, like Dunkirk. I think that's more recent. Uh, I know there's obviously older ones that are kind of like, you know, the Holy Grail of war movies like Saving Private Ryan and stuff. I haven't seen those, but you guys have been talking to me about them a lot and you guys do want me to check them out. So I do plan to in the future, but I don't know, this movie is just so different than the two I have seen, man. So I don't know if those other movies are similar to this or not, but um, I don't know, it, it's good, man. I'm fucking with it so far. General Eisenhower has ordered me to Malta, but that's off the record. Interview concluded. You plan on slapping any soldiers there, General? Boy, I'm about to slap the shit out of you. That's probably what he wanted to say. That's really all reporters were asking about. But damn, did he really write his mom saying that he should have shot him? That's pretty fucked up if he did that. Their agents will spot you here before long. Then we can move you to your new headquarters at Nutsford. What do I do there? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Frankly, George, you're on probation. You take my advice, you'll behave yourself. Remember, your worst enemy is your own big mouth. Homeboy's on probation. He's not going to like that, man. Dude does not want to sit around and do nothing during this time. I mean, in a way, he is still helping, but not in the way he wants to, right? <laughs> That's literally how it is, bro. Small dogs got the biggest fucking bark, and big dogs get scared, man. It's like if you only knew your own strength, you know what I mean? Like, my mom has a little toy poodle. That dog will step up to a fucking pit bull. And since it is the evident destiny of the British and Americans to rule the world, the better we know each other, 
the better we will do it. The Russians. Don't forget the Russians. This dude just loves war, man. It's all he's about. That's the problem with some people, man. They love to fight. That's why there's always going to be war, man. If there'd been any Russians there, I would have mentioned them. I don't like the sons of bitches, but I would have mentioned them out of politeness. Dude was sitting behind him, too, reminding him about everything. Watch your language. Don't forget about the Russians. I mean, he watched his language, but he did forget about the Russians, so. One for two. Entire world at war, and I'm left out of it? God will not permit this to happen. I am going to be allowed to fulfill my destiny. It's all dude wants to do is just command an army. I wonder how he was when he was a kid, man. We'll let Monty pin down the enemy forces at can. We'll pulverize an area three and a half miles wide with saturation bombing, and then seven divisions will follow through. The third army will swing around here, a sweeping end run right across France. What do you think? I think you need a screwball old horse cavalryman to command third army. Dude's happy, man. He got he, he he's back in the fight, so to speak, man. God, it, it's just crazy seeing how bad some people want to be there as opposed to others. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess most people that are there choose to be there. Damn, that's like 70k right there almost, huh? Oh, they stuck, stuck. Dude, trench foot? Y'all know about trench foot, man? If you don't know what trench foot is, look that shit up, man. It's fucking horrible. I mean, he does seem like he's got a, a, a little bit better of an attitude. Come on, hold it up. Come on, baby. Yeah, yeah, come on. That's it. Come on now. This is some of the stuff, like, you don't even... I, I don't even think about, like, when I'm watching war movies and stuff is like the supply chain not just food but like he said gas and stuff that stops them from moving blasted the fuck out of them jesus dude oh homeboy got shot just getting fucking blasted i mean what can you do you ran out of gas it's literally like fight or die uh, when mountain ranges and oceans can be overcome, anything built by man can be overcome. Hmm. I like that. The German army hasn't mounted a winter attack since Frederick the Great. Therefore, I believe that's exactly what they're going to do. This dude's smart as fuck, man. Like, maybe he really is reincarnated. <laughs> During this operation, Third Army moved farther and faster and engaged more divisions in less time than any other army in the history of the United States. Fucking George. <sighs> Fucking George. Dude, <laughs> George. <laughs> His fucking face, man. He looked like he went out. Bah! Again. Oh my God. Please inform him that I do not care to drink with him. Or any other Russian son of a bitch. Sir, I... I cannot tell the general that. You tell him that. Tell him word for word. Dude, George is a fucking savage. Y'all know he said at the start he don't like him. The general says he thinks that... You are a son of a bitch too. He's gonna like that. <laughs> I'll drink to that. One son of a bitch to another. Told you he was gonna like that, man. What y'all think that was? Probably vodka, huh? Think about how it feels going back to normal life after all that, man. When you're somebody that likes that stuff, right? That wants it to keep going. Bro, is he gonna get killed? Look out. I thought he was done Chicago for sure. Imagine getting killed by an ox. <laughs> that would have been so awful, so ironic. Like he said, going through all that war and to die by an ox cart. <laughs> Shit. A slave stood behind the conqueror, holding a golden crown and whispering in his ear a warning that all glory is fleeting. Oh.
That was a nice little ni nice little speech at the end there. Ni nice little ending speech, man. Oh my god, dude. Oh shit. What a fucking movie. Ah, dude. It, it feels it doesn't feel weird. It's just different, right? This movie is a lot different than not only any other movie I've seen, I guess. But any war movie, granted, like I said, I've really only seen like two war movies, 1917, Lone Survivor. I'm sure that there's some other one in there that I can't really remember, but this is just so different than the ones I've seen, the ones I'm used to, you know what I mean? Like, this is more like, this isn't really, I mean, we got some frontline stuff, right? We got some battles, some action, some, you know, people getting killed and, you know, artillery shots, tanks, all that stuff. We got, we got bits and pieces of that, but I think generally speaking the most of the movie was more of the behind the scenes stuff right you know the discussions the planning out the battle planning out what they're gonna do where they're gonna go you know the interviews um speaking in front of you know the crowds and whatnot meetings with other generals and stuff like that you know um seeing how they interact with soldiers and stuff that are injured and that really weren't injured and you know what i mean like it was more of it was a different type of feel to the movie it was a different type of movie it wasn't just straight action and straight blood and straight death you know what i mean so it was, it was really dope to see and the fact that this was like a 1970 film like i said i'm sure this is you know remastered and whatnot and uh there's some stuff changed about it from the original one but it, it, overall it was really fucking good you know it looked good the effects were pretty good um as far as you know gunshots the explosions the, the the injuries on people's bodies right you know it all still looked really good for being this old of a movie you know what i mean like 1970 is a long ass time ago 50 years ago now when you say 50 years it really doesn't seem too long ago to me anyway but when you think about the advancements we've made in 50 years it's a really fucking long time so i don't know it's a really dope movie obviously i'm assuming this is all based off you know george Patton's story and whatnot like i said i do want to look up his his middle name as well because i don't know there's something I, it's not saint i know it's not saint but there's something that keeps pushing me to that and like i said i think it's because obviously the guy from usc gsp george saint pierre or whatever but let's look it up real quick George Patton Smith okay make that eh, he you know what now that I hear Smith that actually does make sense you know George Smith Patton that's that that actually fits in perfectly but that's a really dope movie man like I said some people just have that it's almost like they were born for you know what I mean born for war born for battle and that seems like that's who he was you know obviously he believed he was reincarnated and stuff he lived all the way back in that time fought in other wars and whatnot and you know, he just, he believed that was his destiny, you know, to fight this war and to do something great in this war. And he, he was smart, man. A lot of the times, obviously what, what he was thinking is what the enemy was doing and the choices he made were obviously correct because he ultimately won. But it also goes back to the first half of the movie. You know what I mean? Where they were both, uh, pushing to get to the point. I forget where it was. Obviously, um, you guys know what I'm talking about, the first half of the movie where he was trying to beat the British there first, and he did end up doing it, but it also goes back to which way would you have had more casualties? Would you have saved a lot more lives if you would have went with the plan, or did you save more lives this way? You know, obviously he was going for the glory, and he kind of felt that on his conscience, uh, we could see, you know, when he was seeing the dead soldiers, the casualties list and whatnot, but then at the end of it, he was like, you know, either way there was going to be casualties. It's just a matter of which way there was more or less, but... This movie too, this is the first movie I've ever watched that's had an intermission in it. You know what I mean? It's a three hour movie, well, two, like two hours, 50 minutes, give or take. But it's the first one I've ever seen that had, has had an intermission. Granted, this was that, <coughs> excuse me. Granted, this was that long ago. So I can kind of see that for sure. But like movies nowadays don't have that shit. Avengers Endgame, three hours long, didn't have it. None of the Lord of the Rings movie had it. Some two and a half hours, some three hours. The extended versions, like four hours. They didn't have it you know there's a lot of movies that i can't remember any other movie that's had an intermission before so when i seen that come up on screen i was like what's going on here you know what i mean but overall i really like the movie again shout out to timothy man over on patreon for uh requesting this movie 
and uh, support me on Patreon as well. I appreciate you, man. It was a super dope movie to see. You told me it was uh, a lot different than other war movies, and it definitely was, man. But I hope you all did enjoy this reaction video. If you did, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys want to see next, man. Full reaction is up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff I'm doing. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, everybody? I hope you all enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. Also, drop a comment down below about what you thought about the video as well. I just want to give a quick shout out to the homie Aaron and Timothy for supporting us at our highest tier over on Patreon. Remember, guys, if you want to support us over there, link is in the description down below as well as on screen right now. You get access to a bunch of other awesome features as well. But I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.